In today's pool lesson, I am going to show you every possible way to run a rack of 9-ball. I will explain step by step using helpful graphics the advantages and disadvantages of each shot, as well as the spin and speed to use in specific situations. So you will have a great learning experience to be able to select the best possible way to finish any random situation. Ok, so I'm going to break a rack now and then you will see all the explanations in live commentary from different camera angles. The problem is a position for the first ball on the table uh, and this is ball number two. But I think that I can see enough this ball to make it into this corner pocket. So in the first step we need to uh, make this ball number 2 to this corner pocket and try to avoid making contact with ball number 3. So we need to use a bit of left spin to change the natural path of the cue ball and we can make position for ball number 3 to this area because from there we will have a chance to make position for ball number 4 really easily. We need to consider the best position for ball number 4 because as you can see if we place the cue ball here then we have really tight middle pocket. We can of course make position here and uh, from there we will have a chance to make this ball to this corner pocket and we can make position for ball number 4 here and we will have a chance to make this ball to this corner pocket. We have opportunity to make position for ball number four uh, in this place, this middle pocket, but uh, I'm not sure what angle I will have on ball number three. If this angle will be something like this, in this position, then I, I think that we can move the cue ball here. But if this angle will be something like this, that then I think uh, this will be a problem to, to move the cue ball to this, uh, to this place. Hi, Mr. Cue Ball here, and if you are new on my channel and watching my video for the first time, this is the great moment to leave it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to be updated with videos like this. Okay, so left spin, low speed, And we made ball number two and now let's look at the current position of the cue ball. As you can see cue ball is really close to the rail. I have enough angle to make position for ball number four here. The second option is of course here. We need to consider another boss and as you can see ball number five is really close to the ball number four. Ball number 5 is located in, in the center area of the table, so we can play this ball almost to, to the each pocket. In the first way, I will try to make position for ball number 4 to this area using only one rail. So we need to use a bit of left spin and not too much speed. And as you can see, I am in perfect, in perfect position. Not stride for ball number four. And let's come back to, to the ball number three because I want to, I want to show you the second option and make position for ball number four to this area. So in this shot, we need to use a bit of right spin to change the natural path of the cue ball after contact with the rail. Not too much speed. And as you can see, this is perfect position too. Now we don't need to make any difficult shots because the best option in this situation only bit of top spin and move the cue ball to this area because from there we'll have uh, the best chance to make ball number five to, to this corner pocket. And in the next step we have ball number six 
which is really close to the to the middle pocket and in my opinion the best option is to place the cue ball in the center area of the table after ball number five because then we can use a draw shot and move the cue ball for ball number eight to this place but i will try to show you of course all options and uh, i will leave the cue ball uh, in in different places to show you which option will be the best in this situation so only what we need is to to focus on the pot and place the cue ball straight to the five okay really nice as you can see i have a bit of angle on ball number five this is not straight this is a slight angle towards towards the long rail and from this place to make position um, in the center area of the table we need to use a stun shot so we need to play really hard and make a contact with with the long rail and place the cue ball here you are not sure about subscribing to my channel? I am one-handed pool player and my mission is to show people around the world by creating billiard content that the impossible is nothing and we can fulfill our passions despite such great other sides. And additionally, I want to teach you everything you need to know to become a better pool player. Okay, so let's uh, try to make the first option. So uh, we need to play a stun shot to, to move the cue ball using long rail the center area of the table so play hard with slight top spin okay and as you can see we are in the center area of the table but let's come back to the ball number five okay and now i will show you what will happen if i will play stop shot with low speed and leave the cue ball in this area okay let's look we have angle towards towards this side of the table and we need we need to use rails to make position for ball number eight we can of course uh, use this rail, this rail and go uh, using this path for ball number 8 here. And of course the second option is to make position for ball number 8 using low right spin, contact with this rail, this rail and position for ball number 8 here. But this option is really risky because uh, there is a huge chance that we can uh, make unintended contact with ball number eight and we can we can uh, lose the position for this ball we need to make a really thin contact with ball number six to avoid scratch in the in the corner pocket so as you can see bit of top left spin and as you can see I hit the long rail a bit too far, so this option is really hard to control because we need to hit the long rail not too far, really thin contact. Oh, this is much better. This is much better and as you can see, we are on ball number eight in really good position we can pot ball number eight and make contact with this rail and make position for ball number nine in this place okay but let's come back to the situation on ball number six and let's try to make position for for ball number eight using low right spin and in the first step we'll use this rail this rail and position for ball number eight here and as you can see i made the contact with ball number eight 
And in this situation, we don't have easy shot on this ball. So the first option uh, when I used this rail, this rail was, uh, was better, as you can see. Okay, but let, let's take the cue ball in the center area of the table and let's see what options we, we will have uh, in this place. The first option, which I can see is only draw shot and position for ball number eight to this place. Uh, but the second option, we can play ball number six uh, really thin and make a contact with this rail, this rail, this rail and position for ball number eight to this place. Okay, but if you feel that making position for ball number eight without using any rail will be too, too difficult for you, then you can play a bit thinner and make a draw shot to use this rail and make position for ball number eight here. This is, this is the good option too, but we need to be careful and uh, play not too thick because then you, you can uh, scratch in the middle pocket. Okay, and as you can see, as you can see, it was really close to, to, to scratch in the middle pocket. And from this place, we have really nice position on ball number eight. And now let's try to make position for ball number eight using, using three rails. This shot require a correct speed And as you can see in this shot, I am here with the cue ball, but in the previous shot, uh, I was here. So the distance between these points is really, really low. We don't have too many options. We can only play a stop shot and move the cue ball using long rail on ball number nine. And this is the best option. We can use top spin and bit of left spin and move the cue ball to this area for ball number nine. Let's try to make this better option. You will see that this is better option. We need to focus on the ghost ball for this shot. Let's come back to this position and let's see what will happen if I will try to use Top left spin. As you can see, I played a bit too hard, more difficult position, but this is of course not, not really difficult shot and I prefer to, to play with high speed on this shot and we can use this rail, this rail and go with really, really safe path uh, to make a contact with this rail and leave the cue ball in this area. So only focus on the ghost ball for this shot. All right, that's all for today. And if you enjoyed this video, then please consider giving it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. And additionally, at this moment, you can see another two videos which I want to recommend for you. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, see you in the next lesson.